Welcome back to another post discussion. I found another crazy post that I want to talk about about One Piece today. And dude, let's just get right into it. So to show you guys what I'm looking at, we have Girls Can Love One Piece Shonen Anime. This isn't the actual post I'm going to talk about, but I, I saw this and I couldn't help but laugh a little bit. Because who do these women think they are talking about One Piece? They need to, they need to sit down. Oh, uh, here, put, put this back on the big screen. They need to sit down. Chill. Go back to watching Barbies. Go back to watching My Little Pony. You don't deserve to be watching One Piece. I'm, I'm just kidding. By, by the way, I, I'm, I'm just kidding, y'all. I just think this is a really funny post. Do people actually clown girls for reading One Piece? That's horrible. I've had a few guys PM me a beer. <laughs> I've had a few guys PM me abuse. Cause of discussion saying I'm wrong and don't know what I'm talking about because I'm a girl and I don't understand shonen. What? Yo, yo, hand, hands up in, in the comments section. Who who does this? Yo, if you if you private message a girl on the One Piece, first off, don't private message people on one, the One Piece subreddit. That's, that's really weird. Second off, why would you abuse somebody in DMs because they're, they're a girl reading One Piece? That's so insane to me. It doesn't matter what demographic you're watching or what genre, as long as you're passionate about it and love it, that's all that matters. It feels like I'm back in elementary school that we have to tell this to people nowadays. I wouldn't think a boy is weird for enjoying Lucky Star and Sailor Moon, except... I would. Um, I don't even know what Lucky Star is, to be fair. I, I love Sailor Moon, though, unironically. Sailor Moon's pretty cool. I don't know if my girls are on One Piece or Shonen subs, but I hope you don't get criticized for enjoying the series you love. We're living in a generation where we can enjoy whatever people want. Okay, you know what? First off, I gotta say. Guys. Yeah, let's put this back on the big screen. Guys. If you find a girl that watches anime, Shonen, One Piece, if, if, you, if you find a girl that has watched all 1,000 episodes, read 1,000 plus chapters, you gotta wife her up. But uh, what, what's the main comment here? There's gonna be a lot of idiots. Lots of women love Shonen series. Honestly, it's a trend. Who doesn't love an e-girl? Let's be real here. Who doesn't love that? I I think it's such a goofy post. I saw this and honestly, I had a good fucking laugh at the title of this, man. Girls can love One Piece. I was just losing my mind. I had to pull this up. Uh, no, no, I mean, no offense to the original post at all. I mean, I agree with you 100%. But it's one of those things that seems so outlandish that it caught me by surprise. It's like going to Walmart to shop for vegetables and then you see nothing but like a sausage fest there and you're like what what is going on all right this is what i really wanted to talk about it is a theory regarding beppo i have not looked at this the spoiler tag is still up but i was like yo beppo has been missing for the past like 12 plus chapters law has defeat you know spoiler law has defeated yonko big mom and beppo is nowhere to be seen kid beat big mom killer defeated hawkins beppo is mia where the heck is beppo what is the theory regarding beppo let us find out oh that's shorter than i thought we know that beppo wears an orange jumpsuit do we know who else wears it oh no this is this is gonna be stupid i can already tell this is gonna be <laughs> i i started i i pulled up the camera I pulled up the camera, I hit record, and I was like, yo, this is about to be fire. <laughs> We're going to learn so much about Beppo. And then and then this is what we get. We get like five sentences. All right. We know Beppo wears an orange jumpsuit. Do we know who else wears an orange jumpsuit? That's right. It's Goku. Oh, my God. No, <laughs> not Goku. Oh, my God. What are we reading? Beppo belongs to a race of warrior people who can transform by looking to the moon. Yep, he, he he's a mink. You you got us there. He's a mink. Beppo went away from his planet and country when he was a small boy. Beppo's best friends are a small sort of weak guy, a penguin and a genius. Weak guy. Yeah, okay, wait, the weak guy's the penguin. I guess that refers to Krillin. Who's the genius? Law? Who would, who would the genius be in Dragon Ball? Dude, everybody in Dragon Ball is a little bit dumb. I'm not going to lie. Since we haven't seen Beppo go so long, 
The only possible reasonable explanation for this is that Beppo is a legendary mink who appears once every 800 years. He is the legendary super mink. Oh my. You know what? I, I kind of like... <laughs> okay, this is going to sound dumb. I kind of like that. Beppo hasn't done anything. Beppo hasn't done anything in the series. And we haven't seen a Sulong. We saw like everybody's Sulong. We saw Inurashis. We saw Nekamamushis. We saw the fodder. We saw everybody's Sulong. Except for Beppo. I, I gotta say, a little bit strange. I was, I was dogging on Law's crew being too weak. They were too weak. I, I'm saying it right here. Law's crew is underpowered compared to Luffy's crew, where even Kid's crew, to be honest. So if Beppo was the legendary super mink, if, if he turns into a crazy monster nobody has seen, then hey, go with it, man. I, I'm all for it. Law needs to power up in his crew. If he wants to be a crew that defeated a Yonko, he needs some Yonko commanders like legendary super mink Beppo. But it is weird. I feel like Law would have mentioned this at some point because let's be real. They've been together for a while. I'm sure that there's like, what, a full moon every month? Yeah, yeah. Law would have seen Beppo go so long and he would know how strong Beppo is. For all we know, Beppo's like a, a turtle hiding in the corner because he's smaller than usual. Also, his older brother is dead. Oh my god, it's just like Raditz. No, I was going to do a Raditz and Zeppo joke, but it couldn't fit it into the tyrannical overlord angle for the Frieza and Big Mom. Plus, Raditz died to Goku's rival and Beppo is unrivaled. You know, the people... That's what I'm saying, dude. You you give One Piece fans, you give like crazy One Piece fans the internet, and this is what happens, bro. We we get theories like Beppo is Goku. Since Oda likes Dragon Ball, I could see him giving Beppo yellow hair in his Sulong form and not white. You know what? I could be that could be kind of cool. I'll admit, could be kind of cool. This is my head cannon now. Super Mint Beppo or Super Mink Beppo is gonna be top five in this story. There, oh, like why? I came in here like arms swinging, making fun of this theory. I'm kind of walking out of this theory, believing it now. Have you guys seen Beppo and Goku in the same room? I haven't. I'm insane from Earth. Don't forget that Law uses shambles. That's like Goku's teleportation technique. The Dragon Ball Z theme is definitely in the crew. Jean Bart talking about Beppo. You see, Kaido, you're not dealing with the average mink warrior anymore. Holy crap. I'm, I feel like I'm joining a cult. I'm just like, I'm converting, boys. I'm converting. We never did see Beppo in a Sulong form. I forgot about him. Oda must be saving it for later. Yeah, see, that's the thing. If Oda revealed his Sulong form, these theories would not exist. But Oda is hiding his Sulong form for some reason. What is Beppo doing? Where has he been during this raid? Yo, heat and wire. We're more present than Beppo is, and that's, that's that's saying something. We had to find out their names from an SBS. Beppo has always been here. Oda, show him some love. When Roger got to Laugh Tale, he laughed because he saw a drawing. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> yeah, Beppo was Joy Boy. <laughs> he was he was the man that uh, Joy Boy lost his promise to, or something. If I had a nickel every time today. I've seen a post comparing a mink to Goku. I'd have two nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice. Oh my god. Uh, no, Beppo's a Lunarian, thus he's wearing the suit to protect his own identity. Oh my god, what are these theories? I love this. I, my favorite, the, the person that got trolled the most is me. I saw this, I saw the upvotes, and I was like, yo, we're about to get some spicy, we're, we're about to get, we're about to get lore piece, boys, we're about to get lore piece, maybe he's connected to Joy Boy somehow, and then this is what, this is what I get, I, I get Beppo is, Beppo is Goku, we, we have Super Saiyan, Mink transformations, oh my gosh, I'm sorry, boys, this is, this is a failed video, all together, but thank you so much for joining me on this adventure, we talked about so many things today. We talked about how women can't like One Piece. We talked about Beppo being Goku. And just, I guess, Roger and Laugh Tale seeing Beppo at the end of the day. Anyways, y'all, thanks for joining me on this random adventure. My name is Sai, and I'll see you guys later.
thanks for joining me. Follow me on Twitter at uh, Sinful, and follow me on twi or Twitch as well at Sinful. That's not how you pronounce it, but that's what I'm going with. Um, Sia, I think. <laughs>